Howie's ball in. It's Eustace to meet it. John Eustace scores for Watford. Well, aren't they grateful they hung on to him now? What did I say? Right on cue. Both these defences struggling to deal with the cross ball. Watford put a cross in. John Eustace, one of the smallest men on the pitch, judges the flight, brings it down. It's a lovely, lovely strike. And I wonder how many people would have had this fella down as your first goal scorer. But it's a high lofted ball. And look at that. He's able to bring the ball down on his chest. He does it absolutely beautifully. When he chests it down, he sets the ball perfectly to strike it with his left foot. Maybe gets a, a slight deflection. And that may go against Norwich. It does, I think. It just hits the bottom of a defender's boot. But does John Eustace care? I don't think so. He's Time it was won by Nelson. It's Jackson. Forward by Doyle. Oh, beautifully done by Graham. Oh, this is superb football from Watford and a magnificent goal. Well, it really isn't going with the script, but Danny Graham has doubled Watford's advantage. Dream start to the season. Well, let me just tell you, that goal right there would grace any league in the world. It is absolutely superb in every single way. It's a great ball into his chest, but what awareness by Danny Graham. And then Sordell plays it back into his path. And then it's a really, really calm, composed finish from a striker who's been in the goals. Absolutely wonderful link-up play between the two front men. And Watford... Well, they've come here to spoil the party, and they are now well on the way of doing that. Graham has given it away this time. This is Houlihan. Jackson pulling off, here he is. Well, that's beautiful play, it's Croft! What a beautiful goal for Norwich, a debut goal for Andrew Croft, and hope yet... Martin. Oh, possibility here for Graham. We well, went for goal himself, and he has sealed it surely for Watford. And it's another nightmarish opening day for Norwich City. Well, Norwich are surrounding the referee. They're complaining. They feel that there was infringements in that, but take nothing away from the finish, from a man in form. There was a couple of little coming togethers in the build-up to this goal. Little collisions that could have gone either way. They feel that Deeney has fouled somebody there. Then they're getting a mess. And from there on in, it's all about Danny Graham. First his movement, and then his audacity to be shooting from there. It goes through Elliot Ward's legs, and that is the thing that really hurts John Ruddy in the goal. He's blinded because Elliot Ward's in his line. It goes through Elliot Ward's legs, and it goes as far into that far corner as is absolutely possible. And there's another little gentle deflection off Elliot Ward again who's deflected both or two of the three goals that Watford have scored but you do feel that may just be that tonight Crofts or oh, neat dummy 